And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good Wednesday morning, everyone. Hopefully you're all doing well. Taking a look at your forecast for the day today, not really expecting anything too surprising out there. We're going to see sunny skies here as we start out the day. Mid 60s as you head on into the mid morning hours, 81 by lunchtime. We're going to see those daytime highs yet again getting up into the low 90s around much of the region. But one of the good things you'll see that's different about today as compared to the last couple of days are look at those winds. Really not too bad out there. We'll see single digit wind speeds around much of the area, so that'll certainly be a refreshing change of pace for sure. Looking around the rest of the region, what we're going to be seeing out there, let's take a look at those daytime highs around the region. What we're going to be seeing, low to mid 90s at their hottest. You'll see maybe some upper 80s at their absolute coolest. Now let's jump in and take a look at our satellite radar. Any overnight showers have since left the region. We're not tracking any shower activity early this morning, so you won't, probably won't be waking up too many rain showers out there, but we're going to be seeing those sunny skies, but maybe some increasing cloud cover later on. Your severe risk for your Wednesday, relatively low. As you can see right now in terms of thunderstorm risk, maybe down off in the southwest. That's about it. But if we switch over to Thursday, that looks a little bit better. As you can see, the entire region, save for maybe the far northwest corner, is under a marginal risk. So we could be anticipating some severe weather coming into the forecast. So let's jump right in and take a look at our high definition model. And so for today, I would expect your Wednesday to remain largely unaffected. You're going to notice maybe some increasing cloud cover as we head on into the evening hours. That's about it. But look what happens coming in from the mountains of New Mexico. This is probably going to be happening after midnight. So as you can see right here, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow for your Thursday, maybe tracking some light scattered shower activity. Nothing really severe packed in that, but possibly by the mid-morning hours, models are suggesting that we could start to see some scattered thunderstorm activity. That wave could push on out, but we could start to see more thunderstorms trying to push across as we go into the late night hours of your Thursday. So it's going to be one of those things where we could have a morning wave and then an evening nighttime wave that comes in. They will be separate. It's going to see one come through, we'll get a quick break, and then another wave could come through with that second wave possibly being slightly more severe. So like I said, we'll continue to monitor that, but we'll keep those rain chances for your Thursday right now at about 30%. Looking at your daytime highs, unfortunately looking warm for the rest of the work week, as we'll see 91, 87, 92, and 90 through Saturday, which Saturday, the first day of fall, that cold front still on schedule to roll through as you go on into the late weekend, as you'll see low to mid 80s as you go to the early parts of next week. But unfortunately, it does look like it will stay dry here in the long term.